Welcome back inside the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave. Let's send it to our WWE superstar, the John Cena of our team, Mike Foss, with some tweets this morning from the fans. What's up, Mike? I guess if you're going to throw in a John Cena reference, I guess I got to do that. But uh, We still see you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, hey, you know, you talked before the break about uh, looking ahead to what the Tigers may or may not do in the offseason. So that's where we're going to start this morning. Steven saying the Tigers should keep Cabrera, keep the hitting strong. But when the pitchers are on, they're good. He thinks JV wants to still be a Tiger. Mike says Michigan must regain the passing offense next week or it could get real ugly. And we'll throw it back with a question from Ray. This is right up Stoney's alley. Oh. Ohio State opening up as a seven-point spread. Do you see it going down or staying around seven? Like, can we start with uh, the, the Verlander Cabrera question? Whatever you want. It's your show. <laughs> it used to be. <laughs> I'm just filling in this week. Just a guest. Uh, I think you keep Verlander this year. And I think you keep them for a while. And, and the point I made to somebody the other day, Verlander and Cabrera are statue guys. If they finish their careers here, they get statues so? at Coerica Park. So, right? I think you look at the Cubs and how they built that team. But I think at least this year, Verlander, somebody goes, coming off that Cy Young thing, he's going to be so hot and, and angry. Look, I still think he has three or four years left yeah. where he can be really, really good. So I would not have a problem. But as far as all the other guys, right. Kinsler, Martinez, who, who are you going to get the most value for back? Right. Verlander. Yeah. You would think. Yeah, that's true. And if this team is, unless you think that this team can still win, then you, th you think about trading them. It's tough because you look at how the Cubs built that team and they did it by moving pieces and just getting youth and getting youth and then finding free agents well, at the they, right they time. Well, they drafted well because they had, you know, good draft picks. Too. Right. And so bottoming out is the big thing. Okay. Like you could have statue guys and that's the point that I was making to somebody. Or, but sometimes when you have statue guys, you keep them too long and right. you really... Zetterberg, you know, Cronwell? Cronwell's yeah. not a statue guy. Yeah. Zetterberg more. But it, it is, it's a tough question and a tough road for Alavila to walk down. Well, right it's now. tough for fans. Fans want to pay money. They want to see Miggy. They want to see Verlander and, and not guys they don't know. That, that's the hardest part. But they have to do something. If you could move Cabrera and Verlander, and I could tell you that within seven years you'd get a title, Tiger fan, would you do it? Yes. That's the question. For Absolutely. Seven years? Absolutely. No, Absolutely. No doubt. Right. Seven point spread. Does it stay there or go up or down? Uh, I think it stays pretty close to that. Pretty close. <laughs> Ohio State or Michigan? Oh, Ohio State's going to win. Unfortunately, it's going to be fun. A fun week to talk about. We have more to talk about when we come back in just a minute here inside the cave. Yeah, you can see that. Oh. Hello. Oh.